we're looking at right now is, is a change or a shift in terms of the types of technologies that are being brought to bear uh, in the teaching and learning space. You know, past technologies have really focused on new forms of content delivery or new forms of creation. What we're beginning to see is this emergent concept of logistical uh, technologies that really change the logistics of how learning is delivered. The challenges around issuing of grades and the use of transcripts as a way to recognize learning don't really provide the fidelity that you can get uh, that, that this technology will allow us to have. And so what that means is that as students begin to, to develop their skills and learn new, uh, new competencies, they, they can share those with you know, future employers uh, or with others in, inside of their environments. And so what this does is it creates a new paradigm by which we can begin to credential our students and really begin to recognize learning uh, as opposed to just uh, measuring seat time. People who provide uh, television programming have been struggling with this notion of how do you maintain the attention of the viewer now that they have other devices in their hands while they watch TV. The uh, networks have begun to develop mobile apps that provide what they call a second screen experience, meaning that there is content that exists in parallel with the programming that you're watching on television. This type of concept can also be applied to the classroom. Students can share a common experience, they can interact with one another, but at the same time they can also gather bonus content about the lecture itself and provide all of that in context so that as a idea is being presented in lecture, that the student is immediately connected with online resources that help explain that in greater depth. So one of the key challenges with electronic publishing now is that it, so many of the text, so much of the material that's been developed to this point was never really intended for this type of digital delivery. And so what we've done is we've taken last generation's uh, content and we've shrunken it and put it on this generation's devices. Um, and at the same time, we're not really seeing dramatic reductions in cost. And that's where the, the use of open educational resources is, a, is one avenue to do that. And so what we need are more platforms that, that are interactive that enable our faculty to be creative about how they craft that material in an effort to just replace the textbook inside of the classroom. And so really it's a matter of cre having platforms that support the development of the content, the delivery of the content, but then also the delivery of content that's not just text and images, that it can be interactivity, it can be simulation, it can be uh, delivery of video or any broad uh, range of, of different types of experiences that are all accessible from a range of devices and at the same time are accessible to, to everyone. Analytics have largely been focused to this point on, on looking at you know, students who are at risk in these kinds of applications of analytics, and, I, and, and those are very important and, and, and are very successful. What we can begin to look at is how can the same kind of information uh, reinforce how students interact with one another. One of the areas of research uh, th that I've worked in in the past is looking at question relevancy. So if you think about the traditional classroom experience uh, uh, where students are asking questions of each other or of their instructors, as you can imagine, that generates a lot of material. How do we identify those questions which are most relevant or those questions that are most like each other? So what we can begin to do then is use these analytics to help our students ask more relevant questions. Another area to look at would be is how can uh, analytics be used to create effective small teams within courses? So rather than just kind of randomly assigning groups, how can we use what we know about students and what make effective teams and, and apply analytics to both one, the creation of the team, and two, the engagement and interaction of the, of the people within those teams. <music>